Paul Barrel is a former French naval officer turned soldier of fortune. The mercenary admits to have led or taken part in at least 100 illegal military operations across the globe. He is well known for both successful and failed coup attempts in Africa and the Middle East. I'm a dangerous man because I speak truth to power. I take risks and I have no problem going deep into any operation. Operations he participated in include ending the 1979 siege in Mecca at Islam's holiest site and the failed coup attempt in Qatar in 1996. Al Jazeera's investigation unit traced Barrel for an interview in the south of France, where he revealed details of that failed coup in Qatar 22 years ago. Qatar's former Emir Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani took over the year before in 1995. Unhappy with the change of leader, Barrel says Qatar's neighbors asked him and other mercenaries to carry out the coup. Barrel says the committee was organized by a committee led by Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed then Chief of Staff of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces. He is now Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. The regional committee also included Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, then Crown Prince of Bahrain, as well as Sheikh Sultan bin Abdul Aziz, then Saudi Arabia's Defense Minister, and Omar Suleiman, Egypt's former Vice President and late Intelligence Chief. Barrel was already known to the Emirati leadership. I arrived in Abu Dhabi in 1977. I helped them form a special security unit. I knew Abu Dhabi very well. The same with Saudi. I ran the Mecca operation and I trained the Saudi Secret Service. In Abu Dhabi, I met Sheikh Zayed himself, who held my arm. And to the other side, it was Sheikh Khalifa. And we walk all three together because they knew I was the one who formed the special elite force in Abu Dhabi police. So who funded the attempted coup and how much did it cost? Sheikh Zayed in Saudi Arabia did. They paid the Egyptians for the weapons. In my estimate, the cost of the entire operation was at least $100 million. Barrel chose 40 of his top men to take part in the coup operation. We pretended we were a sports team. We came to train in Abu Dhabi. We skied, we played basketball. No one knew that we had weapons stored in our rooms and the upper floors of the hotel. And we were planning a military operation. We had a conference hall all to ourselves and we stored few tons of weapons there. After taking control of military and security installations, he says, the coup plotters in Katawa to give the green light for militias to cross the border from neighboring Saudi Arabia. A call from then French President Jacques Chirac says Barrel helped scuttle the coup plotters' plan. I got a call and it was President Jacques Chirac. He told me, Barrel, I hope you're not planning to carry out any reckless act in shame France. I told him, no problem, Mr. President. I told him not to worry. I'm here to calm things down. I knew I had to slow things down. His revelations come 18 months into the land, sea, and air blockade imposed by Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Bahrain, and Egypt, and their allies. Qatar denies accusations of supporting what they call terrorism. Qatari diplomats say their neighbors have long tried to meddle in their internal affairs and say the blockade and cutting off of diplomatic relations last year is just another episode of their ongoing attempt to change Qatar's leadership and vision. And more than two decades after the failed coup they helped plan, Qatar's neighbors still have an axe to grind. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.